duck has such a lovely flavour and I think we should be cooking it more at home. So I'm going to show you a super simple way of making a duck and porcini stew. Now these are duck legs. You can see that they've got a lovely amount of fat on them. That's going to protect them when we cook them in the oven. But first we need to render the fat in our pot roaster. Now I've got a nice large 28 centimetre pot roaster. I've put this on the lowest heat and that's what you want when you're rendering the fat out of the duck. Meaning allowing the fat to start to liquefy, leaving us with a thin piece of crispy skin. So because this is a large pot, I can fit all of my duck legs in. So this is going to take about eight minutes. So while that's rendering, I'll prepare a few more ingredients. I'm going to chop my onion and prepare my sage. Mm. now crispy and thin and the fat has now liquefied so we'll take the duck legs out okay now I don't want all of this fat in the stew so we're going to take this out of the pot and we want to leave about a tablespoon because we need some oil to cook our onions so in with the onions and while they're sweating off we can prepare our mushrooms these are beautiful porcini mushrooms. They come dried and you do need to rehydrate them in some water. You can see it makes an instant mushroom stock. So just run your knife through it three or four times. And it doesn't seem like that much mushroom for four legs of duck, but there is so much flavour in them, so that is plenty. This can also go in with our onions. And then we'll give that a stir just to soften and warm through. Okay, the next ingredient that we're adding is some peppercorns. These are green peppercorns and that's about one to two tablespoons. We'll just sprinkle them in. Now it seems like quite a lot of pepper in this, but these peppercorns are quite mild in flavour and quite sweet, so that's why I've added this amount. Okay, now we need to deglaze with some white wine, so we'll add that with our onion. And because it's so hot in there, it does reduce significantly. We'll add our sage leaves that I'll sprinkle in. And now I'll return our duck legs. Smelling good already. And we need some stock. So we'll use our mushroom stock from the porcini. We'll pour that in. I always leave the last tablespoon out because you can see there's a bit of sediment there, some dirt from the mushrooms. We don't want that. And finally, a little chicken stock. And I'll add a pinch of salt to our duck legs because I haven't seasoned them yet. And that's it. We put the lid on and this pot is great because it goes in the oven. So it's going to cook nice and evenly. 160 degrees for about one hour or until the meat falls off the bone. Okay, my duck is nearly ready, so I'm going to serve it with some pasta and I'll get it in now. Some boiling water, I'll season with some salt. Okay, my pasta is nearly ready. The duck has just come out of the oven. Ooh, what a delightful smell that is. The porcini mushrooms, the sage, and even the pepper you can smell. So we're gonna take the duck out of this sauce very carefully because it's so soft, it's gonna fall away from the bone. And we'll just rest that on the plate so we can finish off this sauce. This is delicious as is, but I tell you what, it's even better finished off and rounded off with some cream. So thickened cream, and you really need a small amount of this, two to three tablespoons, we'll pour that in. And then with a wooden spoon, give that a stir and you'll see it thicken up. And just let that bubble away for a few moments. In that time, we can get the pasta out of the water. I'll we'll just get enough out for one portion, perfectly cooked, al dente. Great. And now we'll place this into 
a shallow bowl, a little nest for our duck to sit on and we'll pop that on top. It's looking good. And now for this peppery sage creamy sauce, so good. Just going to spoon over a generous amount over the duck. There you go. <laughs> is such a pleasure to make. I love duck and I love it in this peppery porcini sauce. Give that a go, a winter favourite of mine.